Hey everybody, I wanted to go over this week's modules with you. So we have a lot to cover and just a short amount of time to do that in. So I want to make sure I let you see and know exactly what you have to work on this week. So this week we're going to be looking at module four, which has a multimedia assignment. And we're going to be looking at Module 5, which has a discussion forum and a quiz. Module 4 also has an exam, Chapters 1 through 4. Get one attempt on the exams, so do your best. It's 50 multiple choice questions. Module 6 has another multimedia activity, a Chapter 6 quiz, and a discussion forum um, on your feedback on how the course is working for you so far. So this is real important because I like to get your feedback at this point in the term and you know just see how things are going with you how the course is working for you and um, how I'm working for you as your instructor and if there's any you know anything I need to change to make your learning uh, process better I can do that at this point chapter 7 um, also has a discussion forum and a quiz and so all of the activities in modules 4 through 7 which is actually four modules that you'll be working on this week are going to be due this Sunday, January 14th by 11.59 p.m. Okay, so let's look at these a little bit more in depth. Competing in world markets. So chapter four, or module four, which goes along with chapter four, um, if you are using your text with this uh, course, is really about international business. So almost every single module has a different business topic and so this module is about international business why companies trade or countries trade with one another and how is trade measured like um, those type of uh, measurements on the trade within the nations then also barriers to trade like tariffs or quotas and what makes a, a company decide to go global. So this is important. This chapter or module is important because we live in a small world. Companies are outsourcing more to like uh, places like India or uh, you know Bahamas, Philippines, and uh, some countries are just better at providing certain things in other countries. So used to like China used to kind of rule the um, silk market. Because they were more known for that and had a that type of product there better than any other, um, you know. Sometimes the Middle East is considered the oil and gas area of the world, so everybody has to have oil and gas, you know. Although we do have that here in the U.S. too, but it's kind of more known for that Saudi Arabia and places like that. So this module is important. It talks about international trade um, globally. You do have presentations that you can view if you're using your text, which it is recommended. You want to be reading your chapter. You have some supplemental resources here that go along with the learning objectives. So be sure that you're, you're tapping into those too to enrich your learning. And you have a multimedia assignment. You have two this week. And this is on the Nestle Corporation. So I've given you, here's a blue hyperlink that will take you to the Nestle website you want to answer these questions and again uh, I show you how this activity aligns with your module learning outcomes and why it's important and the good thing is you can use any multimedia recorder that you want however you have one already built into your canvas here's your grading rubric be sure you're reviewing that before you start so if you go here and you click on media, you've already got it right here. So if you have a webcam, um, you can also purchase these easily if they're not built into your computer. You can record directly into Canvas. So we are required to use multimedia assignments by the e-learning team. So that it, this is a requirement. I am the course author of this course. So anyone who teaches it is teaching this course that I designed. Um, but we are required to have that in there. You also have exam one, chapters one through four. It's going to be 50 multiple choice questions worth two points each. Okay, so let's look here. Let's move along. Um, you have forms of business ownership. Module five and module six go together. It's about small business, entrepreneurship. Let's look at these learning objectives. We're going to look at uh, why are most businesses small businesses? What is like the, the stats? 
that make it a small business. Why do small businesses fail? How to do a successful business plan? And we're going to talk about franchising and you have a activity on franchising. So these are some of the highlights of that. And it's important because you may find yourself starting your own business one day. You may you may work for a small business. I had my own small business in Houston in music promotions. And you never know with your discussion form, you may you may open a franchise one day. Um, you have a hyperlink here with this discussion forum that you'll need to go to and then you want to answer the questions. But some of the most famous, you know, franchises are like Dunkin' Donuts or Subway for sure. You know, it's a proven business model that you can buy into. So you have a discussion forum on that and a quiz. Don't forget about your presentations here and your supplemental resources that go along with this module as well that you can tap into. Now with uh, module six, oops, scroll back down. Again, we're going to look at entrepreneurship and your learning objectives here. What is an entrepreneur? Why do different categories of entrepreneurs? Why do people choose entrepreneurship as a career path? And on and on and on about entrepreneurs. And that's important because you want to know like, okay, do I have, you know, do I have what it takes to have my own business and be a small business owner and really go that route in life? So this can kind of help you distinguish that and learn more about being a small business owner. You have presentations, supplemental resources. You also have a another multimedia assignment about you want to interview an entrepreneur and oftentimes um, I'll have students maybe interview a friend who has a small business or a family member. And then again, you're going to record that. You're going to do a recording of your analysis. And again, the easiest way is just to hit media and record directly into Canvas. But you will need to have your audio up, um, like I have here, and you will need to uh, have a webcam. Um, you can use any type of multimedia you want. So you may have a different way of developing that, and that's fine. Don't forget about your grading rubric on that. You have a chapter six quiz, and then this is real important. I want to get your feedback at this point in the term to see how the course is working for you and me as your instructor. That way, if I need to make any adjustments or, or tweaks at this time, I can do that to help your overall learning of the material. So be sure and answer all these questions for me because your feedback definitely matters to me. And lastly, uh, Module 7 is on management, leadership, and the internal organization. So this is important because you may find yourself in a management role one day or a leadership position. There's a difference between being a manager and a leader. This, this chapter and module goes over that. And or you definitely have a supervisor that's managing you, which you also need to kind of manage up your supervisors as well. So this is important. You have presentations, supplemental resources, and then you also have a discussion forum on organizational culture in a chapter quiz. Every company has a culture, just like every country has a culture of values and norms and behaviors. Every company does. So this, this discussion forum is very important because you need to be working for companies that you value their values. Oftentimes you can find this in the company's mission statement and vision statement and you can get a feel for what that company stands for. So this is very important. Um, if you need anything, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and I look forward to talking to you on the discussion forums. Okay, talk to you soon. All right, bye.